Frontline Kids, it's really good to see you and I hope you've had a great week. Do you know what series we are learning about at the moment in Frontline Kids? That's right, we're learning about the books of the Bible. And if you would like to know where you can find the books of the Bible, you can find them at the front of your Bible in the first few pages. And I'd encourage you to memorise them. And we've been learning about some cool and awesome people and the stories that they live in in the Bible. And today we're going to learn about one more of those. Before we start, I'm going to pray. So if you'd like to bow your heads and put your hands together and we'll pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this new day. We glorify your holy name. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you are with us as we learn all about this wonderful person in the Bible. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. So, Esther was super brave and super courageous, and so is Katie. Because <laughs> Katie's going to play splatter face. Who's ready to see if Katie will get splattered? Don't hit too Today we're going to read the story of Esther. Esther was a Jewish lady and she was very, very beautiful. Esther was seen by the king and the king liked Esther the best. So Esther became his new queen. Esther lived in the royal palace and had many servants and attendants that took care of her. Still, she kept in close touch with her beloved cousin, Mordecai. One day, Esther, Esther's friends delivered a message from Mordecai. They had some very, very worried looks on their faces as they came with this message to Esther. What's wrong? Esther asked when she saw them. They looked into her eyes and said, Mordecai wants you to know that there is trouble ahead. Tell me more, she said. There's a plot from the palace to kill all the Jews, one of her friends blurted out. How could this be, said Esther, all the Jews? This was not only terrible news for the Jewish people, but also for Queen Esther, because she was a Jew too. But no one in the palace knew that, or had someone found out. Esther had to take action, but it was against the rules for her to go and see the king without him asking. Mordecai came to visit her, and he encouraged her and said to her, Esther, perhaps you have been born for such a time as this. Even though she could get into a lot of trouble by disobeying the rules, she went before the king. And she said to the king, 
Oh, please, my dear king, please do not kill the Jews, for I am a Jew too, your wife. And if you kill them, you'll have to kill me too. At first, the king was very confused. He didn't realize he had been used to forward a wicked plot to kill all the Jews. Someone has tricked me, he shouted. When the king found out who it was, he got rid of him. Then the king appointed Esther's cousin Mordecai as his new advisor. Through Esther and through Mordecai, the Jewish people were saved. Esther was very brave and very courageous. She went to the king even when it was very dangerous so that she could save her people. God had a purpose and a plan for Esther's life and he has a purpose and a plan for your life and sometimes we have to be very courageous and very brave to live out the purpose and the plan that he has for us. You are special and God has a plan for you. So today we're learning about the book of Esther in the Bible and who knows what Esther became in the Bible? Anyone know? Katie? A queen. A queen, that's right. And Jonah, what does a queen wear on her head? Uh, a crown. A crown. So today we're going to make a crown. So I've got some really long strips of paper which you can put around your head like this. But before we do that, we need to decorate it, don't we? Yeah. Do we want it to look yeah. all sparkly? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got some glitter, and we've got some stickers, we've got some stars, we've got glue, glue. we've got some cool sparkly gems, and we're going to make them really pretty, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. So here you go. Okay. One each. Okay. Okay, and then off you go. Make wow, Lily, good job with the glitter. Oh, that's going to be sparkly. <gasps> Jonah, what's on I yours? I can't open the glue. Um, can you do some of this? Yeah. Oh. Look, which colour do you want? Um, I want it to be all sparkly like these. Oh, do you want some purple? Should we put some purple on? Um, I need more glue. Oh, okay. We'll get some more glue as well. Wow, I love these dots. They are so good. Okay. More glue. More glue. Okay. So this week's memory verse is in Esther chapter 4, verse 14. And it says, And who knows? but you have come to a royal position for such a time as this. Esther chapter four, verse 14. Hope you can remember that. Before we go, I'd just like to encourage you children to have a look at the activity sheets that we have for you and to do them and maybe even do the craft of making a crown and then get your mummy or your daddy or your carer to take a photo of you and show us what you've done, that would be awesome. Before we go, I'm going to just pray for us. Lord Jesus, I thank you for all the children that have watched today and I pray a special blessing and favour on them for the whole week. I thank you, Jesus, that you have a plan and a purpose for each of them. We thank you for your love and your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.